it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I've got a quick iTunes video for you. I did one before with a little tip and it proved popular and I just had another little tip which kind of goes hand in hand in the, with the previous one in that really for anything to work with the iTunes things that you need to do in order if something goes wrong you really need to have your iTunes set so that it doesn't auto sync because otherwise before you have a chance to put anything right by using your iPod or any device that has your music on as the hard drive in some way the iTunes has already auto synced and then has automatically deleted what is on your iPod so not very helpful so it's a very simple procedure and I've done this now so for a long time because I've had so many problems because of this auto sync causing actually a situation to become even worse than perhaps it needed to be so all we want to do is obviously open up our iTunes this is with nothing connected and we want to go up to the top here to where it's got our little iTunes logo now this is in a Mac but the principle would be the same and the titles I should think are pretty similar on a Windows PC as well so you're looking for this preference window now the layout may be slightly different on your Windows but as I say the the principles and the titles I'm sure are, are the same so again we've looked for preferences and then you would probably open it up under uh, general here and what you want to go to is where it was which was at devices and you want to make sure that this box here prevent iPods, iPhones and iPads from syncing automatically and you want to make sure that box is checked because that's the one that's going to stop this auto sync and as soon as that's done you just click OK. Now it would be a good idea to check that that works when um, if you physically connect one of your uh, devices just to check that that is actually not auto syncing and the way you can do that is once you connect you'll see whether it starts to sync you can see automatically it comes up and says if it is if it's not then you know that it's definitely been checked correctly and it's working fine and of course the other advantage of that is that nowadays a lot of us have our devices set to uh, connect via the Wi-Fi and you might find that you actually don't want it to sync every time you open iTunes and just because the iTunes has picked up the device via Wi-Fi you might not want it to connect you can see here that I've got all my devices um, listed but none of them are going to sync until I go in and say down here sync and that's all you have to do so you click on whichever device it is and then you click sync and that's the only time that it will actually do that okay so I hope that helps I would definitely recommend that you do that because there's no harm in it it just gives you one extra step that you have to do when you do connect your device and that's click the sync but it does give you that peace of mind that if something does go wrong that you have got that option to be able to use your device in some way to try and put the music back or whatever okay so anyway i hope that little tip has been helpful and i will see you next time for a crafty video bye for now